Blue Jays hosting the Cubs, and the Cubs are minus 104 on the money line. The Blue Jays are minus 112 over under eight runs. The Blue Jays getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 192, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Cubs laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 155, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by a minimum of two runs. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow at 12.07 Pacific Time or 3.07 uh, Eastern Standard Time. Whenever I make these picks, they're based off of the pitchers that you see. And if you do bet the overnight, please select a pitcher instead of selecting a team because if they change them, you're screwed. Now, Steele did not pitch against the Blue Jays last year. They're 8-2 and two as a team in his last 10. He's averaging 5 and a third innings pitched and 5.6 strikeouts per game in those games. They won his last four appearances. The over has hit in his last three, and the over is 4-1 and one in his last five starts. He's got an ERA of two. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched. His last outing, three earned runs striking out seven, then three earned runs striking out six, one earned run striking out four, two earned runs striking out nine, one earned run striking out six. For Bassett, he pitched once against the Cubs last year. Three and two-thirds, five runs, five earned. They lost that game five to two. I believe that was as a member of the Mets, so it was probably in New York, and he struck out two. They're six and four in his last ten appearances overall. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched and 5.6 strikeouts per game. They did win his last outing, and the under is three and two in his last five. He's got an ERA of 1.8. One earned run striking out six, four earned run striking out seven, two earned run striking out six, no earned run striking out five, two earned run striking out five. He's pitched twice against the Cubs, uh, and they lost both of those games. Losing... Uh, five to two and six to five, and he went about four and a half innings combined, and he allowed a total of seven runs and struck out seven batters. So keep that in mind. Now head to head, the road team is on a two-game winning streak. The Cubs are on a two-game winning streak. The ro- home team is eight and two in their last ten. These teams are five and five against each other in their last ten. The underdog is on a two-game winning streak, while the favorite is eight and two. On the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is five and five. There's only been three one run games in their last ten meetings. The over is six, three, and one, and the over eight specifically is six, one, and three. So it's either the games go over eight or they hit eight, seemingly. That seems to be the sweet spot. The game they played today, the Cubs won six to two. Now in their last handful of games overall, the Cubs are seven and three in their last ten. They are 2 and 2 in their last 4. The under has hit in their last 3 games that they've played and the under is 3 and 1 in their last 4. The over under is 5 and 5 in their last 10. Losing to the Mets 11-2, beating the Mets 3-2, losing to the Mets 4-3 and then beating the Blue Jays today 6-2. And for the Blue Jays, they're 6 and 4 in their last 10. The under is 9 and 1 in their last 10 games. The under has hit in their last 5 games that they've played. And they are 1-3 in their last four, losing 1-0 to Cleveland, beating Cleveland 1-0, losing to Cleveland 4-3, and then losing to the Cubs 6-2. Both of these pitchers have ERAs that are incredibly low in their last five games. I'm going to roll with the Cubs. Seemingly, they they play well, and uh, well, I'm going to take my chances. Cubs with the money line, Cubs laying the runs, and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.